quite a bit of, of a big learning tool. The one thing that interested me about the welding program the most is, uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunities for growth down here in the Coastal Bend area. You know, you've got the Harbor Bridge that's getting ready to be, uh, the uh, construction on that is going to start, the deconstruction of it is going to start. You've got all, all of the uh, all the plants down in Corpus Christi, some over in Three Rivers, and uh, not, not to mention uh, the, uh, uh, the entrepreneur, entrepreneurship that comes with the job of a welder. Simulation welding, uh, that, that basically just gives you a feel for it. Uh, not a whole lot goes wrong with that, but when you're out here in the real world, you've got so much more to deal with. You've got the weather you got to deal with. If it's raining, you can't weld out because uh, uh, the electricity, uh, temperature, that plays a big part in it. And uh, like uh, sometimes if you've got a bad rod, it could like really screw up your weld. Thank you. 
start. We have a new exhaust system that is really exciting. Uh, it is portable. They can actually move it and take it somewhere else if we need to, uh, instead of the old system that we had. So uh, we're truly grateful to both CBC, Mr. Lochi, and the board for approving the funds for us to do this, and then for Carl Perkins in allowing us to have the funds to be able to uh, put this program together. And so with that said, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Lochi for a few minutes. Okay, Mr. Lochi, a few minutes. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the administration, I want to welcome all of you and uh, thank you for coming and participating. And, and uh, today is a, a different opportunity for me. It's one of the few days that I can come to a function out here at the college and be dressed just like I do for my normal work. <laughs> I was telling somebody else a while ago I am not a welder, but I've done a lot of welding in my life. <laughs> and so uh, uh, to have the opportunity to come and, and, and participate in this today is, uh, is a uh, good opportunity for me because it's, it's something that, uh, that uh, in the farming business and the ranching business, uh, there's always something that needs to be welded somewhere. And so uh, I, I take special interest in this. And uh, I just want to say that, you know, we, we would like to always have the very best equipment for our students, no matter what department it is, what division it is in. And we're really glad that we were able to uh, spend the funds to improve this. Uh, as a board and as an administration, we're, it's kind of a double-edged deal for us. We, we want to have the best that there is, and that costs money. And at the same time, we're tasked with keeping our courses and our college affordable. And so sometimes those two don't always work out uh, exactly the way you'd like to, and, and so we're, we're really glad when we, can, when we can do something like this. And uh, that's really all I had to say, and, and thank you all for, for coming today. Thank you so much, Mr. Loshi. And yes, uh, without the support of the board, this would not have been possible. So no matter how hard the administration, the faculty, the staff, everybody works together, without their support, we can't do a whole lot. So we're truly grateful for the board's support for this. Um, before we move over to the ribbon cutting, I'm going to ask Mr. Chavadia and Mr. Marci Gonzalez to come up. Mr. Marci Gonzalez is our uh, welding uh, instructor here in Greenville. And Mr. Rolando Chavadia is our welding instructor in, uh, in Alice. Thank you. And he's also the coordinator for the programs, the industry, pro industry technology programs. And so they're going to tell you a little bit about the tour they're going to give and uh, about uh, some of the equipment that we just purchased. All right, so uh, welcome everybody. Uh, Mr. Chavadia, I teach a welding program in Alice. And of course, Mr. Gonzalez teaches the program here in Beeville. Uh, but we're excited for you guys to be here today, and uh, we're going to take you guys, and we're, we're talking about it right now, we're going to split you up into two groups, um, because there's so much to see, and I want to make sure that everybody sees everything that the top got and I'm created. So, uh, uh, we're going to start out here with the virtual welder, and I know some of you guys were having fun right here with the virtual welder, so that's really a good experience for you guys to do and to try out. And then the rest of us will go outside to the, to the shop, to the shop, and some of my guys, the Monsies guys, are going to be demonstrating and uh, welding and these some plastic cutters. Um, using the exhaust systems that we got, and of course, the brand new shiny new piece of equipment that we got outside, which is our new uh, compressor that we purchased. And uh, we're going to go through the shop and see all those uh, good things that, that were here at the uh, college. So, good? Yes. Uh, so, in our uh, lab, we have the exhaust systems, they're state of the art, so when the person starts welding, they turn on and suck up smoke. Uh, it's a cool away from the world's place. Uh, that's a good thing, you know. Safety first, right? Uh, we have a uh, we have some people with the office selling kind of five. They'll probably stop when we show up for the chart. Uh, we have some people welding in the boots. We have C three hundred and uh, vertex two seventy five. Uh, they're just wonderful machines, uh, they don't draw as much power as the older units that we have. We are under construction, so not everything is set up, but we're working on it. So, the 
with the root code that is not going to explain. So, so those of you who already tried the virtual and you want to go ahead and go to the same group for that, to do that. For those of you who want to try the virtual, you stay in here with the other one. The virtual stuff. Okay, so I'll do the virtual and you'll do the tour on the top. And then uh, we can split up into two groups. So if the front table wants to go with Hazi, the back table wants to go with me, and then we'll just kind of rotate. Okay. So no, yeah. <laughs> Before we move forward, uh, we got to do the ribbon cutting. <laughs> That's really, really important. I want to add one more thing on the exhaust system. It's like Masa said, it's a new state of the art. And I think Matt from Lincoln Electric is here somewhere. And he can, he's probably on the other side. He can tell us a little bit more. But the interesting thing about that exhaust system is that it filters itself. It does not filter out like the other old systems that we had. It's a portable unit that actually does its own filtering. So that uh, is something that is really new. It's, it hasn't been out in the industry a whole lot. And so we're very fortunate to have that. Uh, we also have the new plasma cutter that is, that machine alone, that table alone is like over 30 grand. It's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. It is the latest state of the art. Uh, it actually cuts with water, right?
We need to do a 60 step with this water bottle. And the other guy is getting his plate ready uh, to do a plate test. We might be doing that horizontal over here depending on uh, what they're working on as of right now. First of all, I want to say that I'm truly grateful to the CBC board and the administration for allowing us the funds that we needed to help um, do this welding project here in Beville, our welding shop in Beville. Um, the Perkins funds was a big help, but without the institutional funds, we wouldn't be, have been able to complete this project. The students are extremely grateful. Uh, I've seen the students working out there and they love the new shop, they love the new look. Uh, they're excited to work in a really organized, clean shop that has new, new, the latest equipment and machines and the state-of-the-art uh, self-filtering uh, exhaust system is one of the best things we could have done because that has to do with the students' health. And so we're really, really grateful for that. And then, of course, they hadn't used a plasma table in a long while because the other people didn't work real well. So now with this new plasma table, the students are really excited and all learning how to use it. This is one of the latest equipments that we do have. So, um, I, again, I can't uh, thank uh, the CBC board, the administration, the faculty. The faculty have been wonderful in getting it going and getting the students organized to do what they need to in the shops. And so, um, I just can't say enough. We're pretty excited about our new welding shop, and we'd like for everybody to come see it. It's a wonderful showcase. Thank you.